Making outdoor videos on a schedule means you don't always get the nice weather. But hey, we're going to get wet anyway, right? In Dutch, Farsenbaai means heifer bay. Although humans have replaced roaming cows, we aren't the only land animals on the beach. That said, some Curaçao dive sites have different names, and this one has also come to be known more recently as Kokomo Beach. Sandwiched between two rocky cliffs, this is a terrific destination, even if you aren't diving. Not only can you rent chaise lounges, but you can even upgrade to a covered cabana. There is a sort of beachfront porch area, a 50-foot pier, floating wooden platform, and even a couple of picturesque swings out over the water. At one end of its 250-foot shoreline is a house where you can get relaxing massages and other spa treatments. At the other is a large restaurant and bar with surprisingly good food and very comfortable seats, which make for a great sunset watch party. More central to this video, there is a full-service dive shop, but more on that a bit later. All this makes Varsenbaai a great place for groups that have both divers and non-divers, as there is plenty to do for everyone. If you're excited about the logistics, stick around. But first, we would very much appreciate some assistance. Can you do something about all this rain? Seriously, hitting that subscribe button goes a long way toward helping our small channel grow. In addition to that, you could write a short comment below, drop a link to this video in your email signature file, or send it to your largest distribution list. Everything helps. Thanks. Smiley face. Varsenbaai is centrally located on Curaçao's leeward coast. Unlike Aruba or Bonaire, which generally have a main road traversing the island, Curaçao has quite a few roads that get you to different parts of the island. So directions for Curaçao dive sites will start from the closest main road, which should be easily found on any car rental company provided or downloadable map. For Varsenbaai, we will start by heading north from Willemstad on Hellman Mango Wheels Boulevard. Turn left on Wagnar Bullenbaai and follow that for three miles. Look for the Varsenbaai and Kokomo Beach signs. When you see those, turn left. Shortly after entering the driveway, the surface turns from asphalt to dirt with quite a few bumps and tire ruts. It's not too bad to navigate in dry weather, but be careful after rain as puddles may hide a deep pothole. The parking lot is huge and open, with just a little shade from the cliffs along the edges. This is a popular destination, so you may have to walk a bit to get to the entry gate. Of course you can come all geared up, but you may want to consider leveraging Trunk Divers, the on-site dive operator. Trunk Divers offers a number of creature comforts, including bathrooms, rinse tanks, and showers. You can rent equipment here, and they also have a dive shop if you want to pick up some new gear. There are two entry options, walk in from the beach, or take a giant stride off the pier. The beach entry has an uneven rock slab and lots of good sized rocks which can make footing unstable. It's not bad, and plenty of divers use that, but the pier is a nice alternative with its easy ladder to climb back up. The reef is a 5 to 10 minute swim. There is little boat traffic to speak of, but always keep your wits about you when close to the surface. Come 
compass headings for Varsenbai are 250 degrees west out and 70 degrees east back in. To help with navigation, there is a heavy rope extending from the shallows down the drop-off. As long as you come back above 40 feet, the rope will lead you home. Beyond the sandy shallows, the reef begins with a very nice drop-off. The slope is steep in some areas. We went down to 100 feet to show you what to expect. While the reef is very nice, there are quite a few other highlights to explore. They may be a bit challenging, so fair warning on some of these. Watch your air supply and no deco limits. You will not be able to visit all of these on a single dive. Straight out from the beach, you are guaranteed to see a shark if you go deep enough. This metal structure can be seen in good visibility from 75 feet, but you have to go down to 120 to see it up close. There is also a sunken platform down there, in case you get bored. If you don't mind a long surface swim or are absolutely incredible with your air consumption, consider heading south and check out the car wrecks. While the feature has largely disintegrated to just car frames and some recognizable parts, there is a lot of growth and animal life. Drop down at the buoy, head out over the drop-off, and follow the ridge. The fun starts at 30 feet and goes down over 120. On the way to the car wrecks is a very large pontoon, which does have some interesting life around it. The bottom of that is around 100 feet, but you can check out the top from around 40. If you visit the car wrecks, consider swimming back up the drop-off and following the cliff base back toward the pier. There are large rock slabs, fields of gorgonians, and countless brain coral to explore. In the shallows, there is a floating platform anchored by a large cement block covered in sun anemone. It is also a frequent hangout for a variety of creatures and schools of juveniles. We've been to Varsenbai multiple times, and it seems there is always something surprising. Here are just some of the animals we saw while diving this terrific site.
Farson by at night is exciting, and there were a number of animals we captured for the first time. Like this Caribbean furry lobster, this cup corally morph, and this juvenile mottled muhara. Here are a few of the other things we came across while searching in the dark. Enjoy! Thank you.